I always think of something that happened to me when I was about nine years old. And I'd gone to spend Christmas with my grandfather and my grandmother Olds, who lived in Carlisle, Wyoming. <clears throat> now, if you've never heard of Carlisle, Wyoming, don't worry about it. Nobody else has either. It's one of those places, if you're approaching it and you sneezed, you missed it. But my, my grandfather's ranch was a few miles outside of the little town. And one of the things I loved about being there, whenever I got there, right just behind the house, there was a trail that went up to the top of the ridge. It was called Pine Ridge. And it went along for quite a distance. And it was nearly a mile up the trail to the top. When you got up at the top, you could see the countryside around there was just glorious to look at. Below was the Belle Fouche River Valley. Off in the distance was the Little Missouri Buttes. And towering over everything, dominating the scene, was the Devil's Tower, the very first national monument in the United States. I don't know whether you've ever seen the tower, but if you ever get to northeastern Wyoming, you need to go there. It's over 380 feet high. It's more, almost a half a mile around the base. What it is, is a plug from an old volcano. Over the centuries, the volcano wore away, but the plug is still there. So it's, a, it's just an amazing view. And I was up there on this particular day, the Friday before Easter, you know, Good Friday. And in that part of the country, weather can change real fast. And all of a sudden, I wasn't paying attention, and a storm came up from the direction I wasn't looking. And all of a sudden, there was a blast of thunder and lightning that nearly knocked me to my knees. And it started to rain. And in, I have never found anywhere other than, than in Crook County, Wyoming, where it rains like this. Big old raindrops like that just come plopshing down all over the place. And I was scared out of my wits, <clears throat> soaked to the skin in a matter of minutes, scared, cold, started to cry, and began to run down the hill trying to get home. And of course, the rain turned everything wet and sloppy and muddy, and before long, I fell down three or four times. I was all skinned up and everything. And as I went on down the hill, suddenly I could see a figure moving toward me through the, through the rain. It took me a minute, but I recognized it was my grandfather. He had on his big hat and his long saddle coat, coat and he came rushing up to me. He unbuttoned his coat. He wrapped that coat around me. And he held me close to his heart. And you know, the thunder continued to roar. The lightning continued to flash. The rain kept falling. But it didn't matter anymore. Because I was warm and safe <coughs> in my granddad's big coat. That to me is what family is all about. <clears throat> that when we're hurting, that when we're scared, that when we're cold or we're lost, family is the place where we should be able to feel God wrap us up in himself. Our family at home, our natural families, and certainly here in our church family. No person should ever come to this church, ever come to this church and feel not welcomed. No person should ever come here hurting and not feel the love and warmth of God. You know, the priests, my brothers and I, we can do what we can, but it takes all of us, doesn't it? You know, it takes just maybe a smile or saying hello to somebody you've never said hello to before. But all of that is making this our family. You know, to have that kind of family, whether it's our, our own natural family or our family here at church, to really make it work as it's supposed to, as God intends, we need to remember the three A's. Attention, appreciation, and affection. That we need to pay attention to one another and never take each other for granted. We need to show our affection. 
You know, there are sometimes people that are starving to death just for somebody to say, I love you or you're important. And nobody ever says it to them. And we need, we certainly need, you know, to show our appreciation. Not that somebody has done something outstanding, but simply because they are. That they're a gift to us from God. They're a part of our family. Because when we fail in the three A's, tragedy can happen. You know, the one thing I never want to have to go through again, when I was in San Marcos, I had to deal with a suicide. Young man, 16 years old. And his father told me, looked at me and he said, it's all my fault. He said, he said, 15 minutes ago, for the first time in my life, I held my son in my arms. The first time I told him that I loved him. The first time that I told him how special he was. But he couldn't feel my arms and he couldn't hear my words because he was already dead. And he left behind a note saying what a desperate, terrible world it was that he lived in. He felt so unloved, so unappreciated. Because those who loved him most failed to be family. They took him for granted. They didn't show their appreciation. They didn't show him how much they loved him. And in his despair, he took his life. I never want to have to deal with that again. I want everyone to feel family like I did. To feel granddad's coat wrap around us and keep us safe and warm. So let us tonight resolve, as New Year's is coming, let's make this a New Year's resolution that we make and that we keep. That we will practice the three A's, attention, appreciation and affection in our homes every day and that we will bring it here to our church community and from there we'll help it to go out to the world because all of us are meant to be family. Again, our Lord tells us we are his children. And the challenge is do we really believe in him? If we do, then we will live as he asked us to. We will be family to one another. So that never will any one of us feel alone or abandoned. But that each one of us, when we're hurting, when we're lost, cold or afraid, will know exactly where we can go to feel the warmth of God close in around us. So let us be family. And let us make this truly the merriest Christmas of all. And now, my sisters and brothers, as the family of God, let us stand and profess our faith. We believe. The glory is of his righteousness and wonder. And wonders of his love, and wonders why.